Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the 700 watt all powers power station here. So I've been using it a little over a month, so I can give you my thoughts on how well it did for me, how well it performed, and show you some of the specs and different features on it. So looking at the unit up front, you're going to see the basics. So this is, these are two AC outlets. That's where you're going to get all, most your power. There is options in the sides for that. Uh, this turns the DC power on. This would turn the AC power on. And here is your Bluetooth thing for the app. So that's the Bluetooth button. So actually, I'll show that to you here in a minute when I'm testing the solar out. But the app is pretty decent overall. It gives you real-time readings, and you can shut off and turn on the AC and DC output. Also, you have these extremely obnoxiously bright lights uh, that are on the unit also. So here, these are all outputs on the right side. You'll have, you have three USB and one USB-C. And then this is a DC output. So for low voltage stuff like lamps and stuff like that, it says in the manual. So nothing major would go in here. I think it's 12 volt and below that you could use on, for a DC output. On the left side of the inverter, you have the input. So the solar, I'll show you the solar panels here in just a minute, but they come with an adapter for this or this. This is, uh, you get an AC wall plug with it too for the AC side of things. So you can charge with either one. The solar panel comes with, the all power solar panel comes with a socket for that or this, either way. And a 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet. Which I'm not sure why people call that anymore. Uh, I think in the manual it calls it a car socket. So here on the main display you can see battery capacity. And then if you look on the right, that's where if you're charging or discharging, it'll show you know how much is com coming in or going out. And I guess that's a typo. If they had a little more space, they could have put wattage. And if they put an S, it would have been watts. But it's W-A-T-T-A -T -T -A right there. The manual's decent overall. It could use some tightening up. Uh, the English in it isn't exact there, so there is there's definitely some typos in there. But uh, it's not hard to get the gist of, of how the unit functions. And it has lists of how to make the battery last longer and what units you can, you know, what you can run on it, laptops and such, and how long they'll last. So it, it's decent overall. But again, they could tighten it up some. So I've actually got the unit charging from the AC side of things. But uh, mostly what I used it for was when we would go on a trip to uh, kayak, I would in use a small compressor with it. But it does start small handfuls and everything too. I think it's rated for double its uh, wattage for, I don't know, a few seconds. So you're somewhere around 1,400 watts it can surge up to. So this is a grinder. Um, I think it's a 7 amp. Yeah, 7.5. So it starts this fine. Let me turn the AC on. Yeah, so it does a fine, a good job with the uh, loads that I've put on it. So I set it up to charge in the sun, and this is the 100 watt panel they sent with the unit, and I was impressed. I like this little thing a lot, actually. And you can see here, after I set it up with solar, that I'm charging around 69, 70 watts. So it's a 100 watt panel they sent with it, so it probably just needed to be tilted around a little more. I think the unit only charges at 100 watts, so I was almost there. Uh, and then you can turn, like I said, you can turn the AC on and off there, the AC output. And uh, I believe with, with if you update the app, you can turn the lights on and off with it too. So again, it's a basic app. So I don't know that you would use it all that often, but I guess it's better to have it than not have it. It's a neat little add-on either way. So having used this for the past month and a half, I haven't really had any issues with it at all. 
I don't ever like to be limited on my power supply. I like larger supplies, but you're not going to lug something huge around. So if you need something compact and portable, you are going to have to sacrifice wattage. So being, uh, you know, this is a pretty good wattage and still being portable, you're probably right at that limit there. Uh, but yeah, everyone wants to be the next EcoFlow or Blue Eddy. So there is a lot of competition in this market. There's a lot of people coming in and that's good really for innovation because you've got the more competition you get, the more innovation you're going to get. But yeah, overall, it's been a nice unit to deal with. And I look forward to looking at more of these. I like anything to do with solar, even if it's small. So yeah, uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.